Hello and welcome to another Aki's video. This is Monday morning and we are doing daily race A and daily race C. This is the new daily race A. We are at special stage route X and we are in a specially provided selection of cars. We cannot tune them or put liveries on. They are only here for us to borrow and uh, let's see what we can get out of this one. And after this race we move on to daily race C at Bathurst. But let's get straight into it. So as usual this is the first available race of the week. We are starting from the back and we are in the Mercedes AMG Black Series. And just as the race started I noticed the nitrous. But where is my nitrous button? I know it's somewhere. Oh I found it. So let's go and immediately gain some positions but not use all the nitrous at once. Let's just get up towards the front and see if we can find someone to work with. So as soon as we got past the Spanish driver, let's tuck in behind the Irish driver in front of me. I am saving some of the nitrous for now. Let's just tuck into the slipstream and see if we can get pulled along here a bit of nitrous just to catch up and I'm not interested in overtaking just yet. Let's just bump draft him and let's both move forwards and see if we can catch up with the front guys. I am falling a bit behind now but we are still in the slipstream and the race has only just started even though it's only one lap. We've still got some time. Basically this race is all going to be determined once we go around the final corner then we will see who is friends and who is not friends but we are just bumping the iris guy ahead and he just finds an amg sized gap so we bump the austrian driver a bit as well and i get a huge boost from the bugatti behind me so i just have to go for it now so we are at the front of the group now and I'm getting bumped along by the Spanish driver in the Corvette behind me. And uh, we are coming into the first corner and we are on comfort soft tire so the Corvette drifts wide and hits me and spins off. Uh, very unfortunate for him because that was race over. We are still in it. We've got someone going on the inside of me. I got a bit far up on the banking because of that small incident with uh, Covid but I get a bump from behind and um, we are ahead once again and I get another bump. So basically uh, P2 was being really nice to me and he got bumped along as well from behind so we just carry a lot of speed down this straight and I have still got plenty of nitrous to use so as not much else happened than me getting pushed along I think it's safe to jump to the end of this one. So we are coming around the final corner and now it's time to use some of that nitrous. I've got plenty to spare let's see if I have timed this correctly. There is also a possibility that some drivers hadn't got a button mapped for the nitrous or maybe didn't even notice that we had nitrous on. But either way, I am having a comfortable run towards the finish line. And uh, I think this race can actually be a fun one. I must admit I was rather skeptical to a point where I was even considering not even doing it. But now we've tried it. I think there's some fun to have. I'm not really into the slipstream racing, but uh, it's there for those of you who enjoy that. Now let's get straight on to race C. We are at Mount Panorama, also known as Bathurst, and we are in the Group 4 cars. I am in the Nissan Silvia, which is on top of the leaderboard when it comes to qualifying, but maybe this isn't the car for the race, but we didn't know that yet. so. Here we are. I did two races here this morning and this is the highlights from those two races. We are starting way at the back. I decided to just do some warm up laps on the hard tires so that qualifying time is on the hard tires. But 
all is good. I need to get warmed up to this as well. So I'm perfectly comfortable with not being in front of too many people. Let's see if I can get around turn one. I think, yes, slightly missing the apex. But in that case, it's actually fine not to take too much of that curb because it can risk uh, spinning you out. So all is good. So let's just say I did that on purpose. We are coming down the first long straight and uh, having a look out for the 100 board and the tarmac strip. And remember, we've got cold tires. We're taking it ni nice and easy. It looks like we are up to having some side-by-side -side stuff in front of us. Let's see. Yeah, the DTR goes for a move. So that makes the German driver really slow now. And I thought I could sneak along, but uh, I couldn't. Uh, I don't think he saw me. He Once he felt the contact, he made room for me. So it wasn't on purpose, but I had to back out of that one. It was basically a stupid place to overtake. Uh, because I didn't have enough speed to clear him. So we'll just stay behind for now. And now the first trip down the mountain, the most scary part of this track. And what I'm having most trouble with is getting my left tires into uh, that apex. Um, don't want to go too narrow into that one because you can pick up a penalty, but you definitely want to dip two of the tires into that one. But we will get there eventually. We are getting down the back straight now and coming up towards the chicane. And I brake in time, but I released the brake too early. So I run on the grass. That was just a bit clumsy of me. And I lose some speed. Now I have to remember I have got dirty tires and a Mustang on my left hand side. So I just make some room for him. So let's just clear the corner and uh, see if we can get that dirt off the tires. We are at the start of lap two. Someone has been into the wall and that's a free position for a lot of us. I managed to sneak along as well. We are still behind the Mustang. Let's get around these corners without killing anyone. And uh, now our second trip over the mountain. I'm trying to stick with these guys. Um, in fact, and I didn't know that at the moment, the Mustang is on medium tires. So we'll find out about that later. I'm trying to keep up, make sure I don't run wide onto the grass and the sand on the side and coming down the mountain. Be careful straight line this, but don't break too hard. The car will easily turn around. Once again, I missed that uh, apex on the left. You really have to time that right takes a lot of practice. I need more of that. There was an accidental uh, push of the German by the French driver, but he waited up. So all is good. But now it's my time to mess up. We're coming into this corner. The German runs wide and the French driver actually wants to make room for the German. And I make contact and spin the French driver around. And I decided just to wait this time. I had a similar incident at Spa last week where I didn't wait and when I watched the replay it looked like I probably should have waited. So this was the benefit of doubt. Better just wait just to be sure. This is my first race of the week anyway, just warming up. And you can see we've got some drivers on medium tires. So there is a couple of free positions in this for me. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just find a flow in this one. As already mentioned, was no need for just running away after making that move on the Mustang. As you can see, we have jumped pretty far ahead in this race. I'm actually about to get a purple sector up this first straight. So I'm clearly not doing everything wrong. And at the end of lap seven, we saw the Mustang pit for hard tires. So now I am up to P12. Unfortunately, I also decided to hit the wall coming on to the back straight. So I finished this one in P12 and let's jump on to the next race. Now I have tried to set a proper qualifying time in between races. I was on for a low 13, but I messed up, but that doesn't really matter. It wouldn't have changed anything in where I was starting in this one. And as we come into turn one, we see Walker Paul, he makes a mistake. He 
accidentally punched off Moscafi, but he's waiting for him. It was clearly a mistake, but that was some free positions for me already. And this is the first trip over the mountain. Uh, it's all about really finding the right line coming through these corners and on the hard tires it gets a bit slidey and down the hill be careful and don't downshift too aggressively can i find yes i actually found that apex and i think that when you are not that confident yet it's better to be a bit careful coming in and then you can get a good run coming out i hit the wall but not as hard as the car behind me who spins himself out we are coming down the back straight and uh, as we come into turn one I saw bumper cam Bob he got pushed off the track and he got on the throttle with dirty tires spun around and he clearly wasn't happy about that I need to google what a fob is but I am sure it isn't anything particularly pleasant some justice for Bob was served there and we are jumping way ahead in the race now we are actually jumping to the final lap i have been struggling to find some flow but on lap seven and lap eight we've also not got that much fuel on anymore i'm starting to figure it out i have to watch out for the fuel so i'm short shifting down the straight i'm looking out for the hundred board and the tarmac strip and getting close to the curb don't really want to get on it because you can spin around and this part i'm basically just eyeballing lifting off a tiny bit trying to get a wide run but don't cross that white line as well i'm staying in third gear mainly because of the fuel at the moment and uh, trying to straight line this there are some small lifts here and there and here the car dips into this sort of hole which means it's easy for the car to turn right when you are at the bottom of that here you're coming over a hill so you really have to be careful that wasn't the best run because you can also run wide if you come in too narrow down the hill is just all about getting some experience i found the apex again and let's see if i can do the final corner this lap isn't anything amazing by far but it's the best run in this race uh, and uh, yeah coming down the straight now you can see we've got 13s. I'm not sure if he was on the medium or the hard tires for that time, but clearly we've got drivers much faster than me. But I'm going to stick with this race this week. Uh, I think it's fun. It's group four. I think I've got a chance to learn this and I hope I'll meet some of you guys on track during this week. We are crossing the line in P4 and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.